What's up Zelda fans, I'm Knocked Wolf, and today I'm gonna show you how to beat every area boss in Tears of the Kingdom. Now we are excluding temple bosses, story bosses, like Master Koga or the Mud Turok. This is going to be essentially a guide on how to farm different types of area boss enemies. Pinoxes, Froxes, Lionels, Gleox. I'm gonna show you how to take them all down. But before we jump in, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the action. Now here's the order in which we're going to be tackling each one of these area bosses. We will be defeating the Hinox, the Stalnox, the Frox, Gleox, Lionels, Gloomhands, and Phantom Ganon. Oh, and Moldugas. Can't forget those boys. They got such wiggly little nubbins. They're so cute. First up, the Hinox. A Hinox is kind of like a giant troll. Imagine if a Bacoblin had a big brother and then that big brother had a dad. This is the dad. Hinoxes are very easy to kill. They have a giant weak point right in the middle of their face. You shoot it, they fall down, and then you smack them. As soon as he gets up, you run away, because then he smacks the ground. The other thing is he covers his eye every now and then, and it's kind of annoying when he does that, because it is definitely harder to, to hit the eyeball when his eyeball is covered, but not terribly difficult. Now that we've knocked out a Hinox, let's tackle a Stalnox. This is a Stalnox. It's a Hinox, but undead. You hunt it in a very similar way to a Hinox. The only difference is that this thing's eyeball can pop out. See how its eyeball fell out there? Smack the eyeball and it does more damage to the body. While we're in the depths, might as well go ahead and knock off a frox. Oh, no, there it is. So this is a frox. Killing them is actually pretty easy. He jumps. He jumps. I need to wait for him to start sucking air. He starts sucking air. Pull out your bombs. Shoot him in there. And he will be stunned for a second. From there, you get on his back. And it's just like killing a Talus. See, watch. Now he's going to start sucking air. So I'm going to shoot more bombs right down his gullet. He's gonna launch you up because you're on his back. He launches you up in the air. He explodes. Easy. Time for all of our favorite swimmy boys, Maldugas. Maldugas are super easy. You can tell where they're at because of the shaking of the sand. Like, they look like that when they're traveling underground. What you want to do when you're fighting a Malduga is find something cheap that you don't mind losing, like the Coblin Fangs, and yeah. chuck it out into the sand. You see how that gets its attention? It's going to jump up out of the sand. And now what I'm going to do is glide over here. And beat the crap out of it. Also, its weak points are its little nubbins. It that really doesn't like having its little nubbins touched. Also, it'll spin in a circle to try to whap you. So at this point, I'm gonna run back, get back up onto high ground, and we're just gonna repeat the process. I'm just gonna chuck that out there. It's gonna hopefully get its attention. The other option that we've got while we're up here is, you know, just uh, bombing him. That's also going to pop him up out of the sand. And I'm just gonna, uh, you know, whack him. And he's done. Next up is Gleox. And I'm gonna show you the basic way to knock out normal Gleox. There is also a large area boss called a King Gleox. We're gonna cover how to take him out in our Gleox specific combat video coming soon. So we're gonna fight the fire, the fire Gleox. To do this, we are going to use a Lionel three by bow, an armor shard shield, and we are going to use 
Pick an ice staff. I think I'm gonna start with the ice staff. Actually, I'm gonna have a sapphire shield out too, just so that I'm on the cooler side. So the easiest way to beat a Gliok is not to just bum rush it because it'll flap you away and then you're stuck. The easiest way to beat a Gliok is to come at the Bish with key size. You see there, they home in on the Gleox heads, and then you run up and smack it. They are also elemental enemies. Does not look like the Sapphire Rod that I decided to give a shot is doing any extra damage. So instead, we're gonna come in here with this instead. Moderately high damage weapon. All right, now he's gonna blow me away with his wings. He's gonna lift off a little bit, right? Now I'm gonna come back to my key side balls. I'm gonna dodge these fireballs. Let those key size rip. The biggest thing is that like he's not that hard to hit. The biggest problem is just that he's got a ton of health. When Gleox get beneath like 25% to a third of their health, they go into their next combat phase. The, f the next combat phase for a flame Gleok is to fly super freaking high up in the air. It's gonna blast a giant supernova down at me. So I'm gonna get as close under it as possible. And then I'm gonna turn around and I'm going to run as fast as I can. Once it's exploded, you see all this updraft? We're just gonna ride this up. First thing I'm also going to do is make sure I'm topped off on stamina. Boom. The Gliok falls out of the air, takes a bunch of damage upon hitting the ground. And this should be the last few hits to take it out. An Ice Gliok. Ice Gliok's are a pain in the butt because they have uh, Ice Breath. Ice Breath freezes you in place, making you vulnerable to keep getting hit. After hit, after hit, after hit. Now remember, Gliok's are really easy as long as you have Keys Eyeballs. If you don't have Keys Eyeballs, Keys Wings or Air Kuda Wings can also be a substitute as long as you can hit. Really? There we go. Got it. I try not to use the eyeballs when I don't have to. This is going to finish out my eyeballs. Leaving me with one. Which is fine. Just need to get out of this crystal. And spin on his face again. See, this is where he's going to phase, right? He's gonna go to his one corner phase. He's gonna fly super hard up in the air, or super high up in the air, right? He's going to conjure a snowstorm. So wait for it, here it comes. He's gonna breathe out a massive blizzard. So what we're going to do is get as close to him as possible. We're going to climb the ice. Use rewind. Take this up into the sky. We're going to glide over. And I've got one heart left, but that's all right. Maybe it wasn't all right. It wasn't all right. We're about about a, th about a third. Uh, we're at about a third. I'm not sure if he's actually going to phase here. He did not. The problem with him not phasing here is that I don't have key eyeballs anymore. That was my last one. Brought him down. He started to phase, actually. You saw that after I hit him that one time and his health went down a little bit. I wound up catching him right in the middle of that phase, so he wound up falling and taking, like, a little bit of damage. But that's going to do it. killing him fast enough that he didn't even get to his ice ball phase. This is a lightning Gliok. These are probably the hardest of the three, in my opinion. We're gonna fly in.
Took out all three of its heads. Now we run up. Spin to win on its head. All right, so now he's below a quarter health. This is the phase I was talking about, okay? This is what happens when you get a Lightning Gliok below one quarter health. He is going to fly super high up in the air. And he's gonna do a Lightning Spirit Bomb that causes a ton of lightning strikes around me. Here it comes. There we go. And now I gotta watch. For, see? Look, hang on. Updraft. And you have to ride the various updrafts to get close enough. He should fall. Doing the rest of the damage needed to kill him. Now that we've knocked off a Gliok, let's take on a Lionel. This is an armored Lionel. I start out with a blunt weapon. That'll break his armor. Now, he is stunned. As soon as his armor is stunned, as soon as he's stunned, I jump on his back. Pound him. Parry. Shoot him in the face. Jump on his back. Beat him again. Glory Rush. And he's done. Easy. The Lionel has been vanquished. Now, for everybody's favorite survival horror element, Gloom Hands. Gloom Hands with a five by Lionel bow and bombs. Takes him out like that. And now they're all dead. Once you defeat a set of Gloom Hands, you're gonna get a special boss, Phantom Ganon. Oh, my sword does so much damage. There we go, Flurry Rush. Bye! Oh, I almost forgot. How can we forget about Flux Constructs? This is a Flux Construct. Flux Constructs take on multiple forms over the course of multiple phases, and the key to defeating them is knowing how to interact with each phase with your Ultra Hand. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get his attention. Let's see what level this one is. This is a Construct 2, so it's not gonna be that bad. One way to mess with him, use your Ultra Hand to get rid of his feet. The easier way, though, is to grab his actual construct core, that green glowy block, yank it out with the ultra hand, and then you just run up and whack it. Yeah. He's gonna reform and he's gonna go into a new phase now. So now he's in his block phase. I'm gonna wait to see that green block again. I'm gonna grab it, and I'm gonna yank it out. Give him a sec to reform. His next phase puts him up in the air. He's gonna start chucking bricks at me, right? Here come the bricks. Stand on the outs. I'm gonna jump on top of one. I'm gonna use my reverse time rune. And ride it all the way back up. And I could beat him here. But I believe there's one more phase if I'm not mistaken. So I'm gonna let him reform just so that we can see this phase again. Nope, okay, nope, that's it. And he's done. Now that we've knocked off every area boss in the game, make sure to stay tuned for our upcoming videos on a one heart challenge for the Depths Floating Coliseum and how to take out every kind of Gliok and specifically how to navigate each of their one fourth health phases, including the King Gliok. Those videos will be coming soon, but I hope you like this one. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more and I'll see you guys in the next one.